Hi friends! My name is Mandy and I am a play guide here at the museum and we are going to do some yoga today. We're in this beautiful space amongst the clouds and I'm here with my friend Lauren who is an educator here. So we're just going to show you some different yoga poses that you can do with your family, do by yourself, just to have some fun, take a little break from, from your day and enjoy some yoga with Lauren and I. So um, we are going to do what uh, is called feelings yoga. We all have feelings, right? So um, we're just going to work through some different feelings and, and do some yoga poses while we talk about them, okay? So join us if you will. We're going to start standing. So stand on up. If you guys don't have a mat, you don't need a mat for yoga. We just have them out. You can have shoes on if you'd like. You can take your shoes off. Do whatever feels good for your body. Now. The first feelings yoga pose we're going to do is Grateful Giraffe. So for Grateful Giraffe, Lauren, what you're going to do is you're going to start by standing tall in Mountain Pose. So Mountain Pose, you can just kind of be, just be comfortable. Some people have their feet um, kind of beneath, right below their hips, maybe feet together. Whatever feels good for your body is totally fine. So this is okay? That looks great, Lauren. Yes, absolutely. And now um, what you're going to do is take your arms straight up to the sky, really, really high. <laughs> Both of them together, yes. And now you're gonna pretend like your arms are the long, long neck of a giraffe. So arms can be up here if this feels good. Maybe if you wanna put them together, whatever feels good for your body, but it feels good on the shoulders to do this, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like a giraffe. Good, good, I'm glad. Okay, so that is pose number one, friends. Next, we are going to do what's called the finicky flamingo. Um, and do you, have you all seen flamingos, how they stand on one foot? Yeah. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're, we can kind of pretend to be a flamingo. And what this says is stand on one leg. Okay. <clears throat> now so bend. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay if you're wobbly, that's just fine. Look at me, I'm, I'm holding on to the side here. <laughs> so bend one knee of the leg that you're not standing on and place the sole of your foot on that opposite inner thigh or calf and balance. Now, maybe pretend I'm, I'm still holding on to the side of this. That's okay. Um, in, um, in yoga, this is also called tree pose. If you're feeling a little bit wobbly wobbly, that's okay. You could always drop that foot down to the floor. And if you would like to, you could extend your arms up like a tree Ooh, or the giraffe or like yes absolutely just like the giraffe was um i like to pretend sometimes that i'm a south dakota tree and so maybe it's really windy like it is today so we can move our arms and try and balance okay okay good job all right third pose friends is a caring koala doesn't that sound sweet, it does sound sweet. <laughs> so for this you guys this is a really kind of goofy pose so i'm going to put one arm under one arm just like that, Lauren. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you want to, you can kind of clasp hands here. If this feels a little uncomfortable, maybe just give yourself a bear hug, like a, like a koala, like a koala hug. Like and now, if you would like to kind of add some balance to this, we're just going to take one foot and cross it over the other. And if you want to, kind of sink your backside down. Good. Chest stays up nice and high, and we smile because that always makes us feel better. Good. So this is the caring koala, you guys. And what this says here, pretend like you are a mama koala cuddling her baby. Aww. I know, isn't that sweet? That is sweet. So friends, make sure we switch to the opposite side too. In yoga, we like to do both sides because we don't want to be, you know, off balance. So we'll do the other side too. You do the other side at home. Now, next, this one we were kind of nervous about. Because we practiced. It, we practiced it. It looked kind of tricky. Don't worry, it's not at all. All we're gonna do for this one is open legs nice and wide, and then we're just gonna hinge forward. Hey guys, hinging forward. And so this um, is just a wide-legged forward bend, and we just come all the way down, and maybe your arms can come together. Maybe if you wanna kind of rock side to side. Does that feel good, Lauren? It does. Good. Good. So just kind of wobble back and forth. Maybe drop arms down like an elephant. Good. Okay, guys, last pose. This one 
is called frustrated frog. Do you feel frustrated sometimes? Sometimes. Me too. That's okay. That feelings are normal, guys. So for this one, I'm just going to continue with this kind of nice wide-legged squat, and I'm just going to set my bottom down and just come hands together. And this says, now, if you want to jump up and down from this position like you're a frog, I think I'm going to leave that one to you guys at home. But in, in triage. <laughs> Shall we? Okay, here we go. Jump. Oh. <laughs> I think that was good enough. So, guys, thank you so much for joining my friend Laura and, and I today. Enjoy this with your family. Maybe have a couple laughs. But we are so happy to have you on our prairie with us today. Um, thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Mandy. Bye, guys. Bye.